the British Army, led by the corpulent Duke of Cumberland, the third son of the British King George II and a distant cousin of Charles. Yes, and the government forces, of course, contained a lot of English troops, but also the government forces contained a lot of lowland Scots. Scots who were, most importantly, Protestant. They weren't Catholic, and in many ways, they were more similar to English or overall British culture at the time than they would have been to Highland culture. And so this is why it's not just Scots versus English, it's Scots versus Scots, and then also, you know, the Jacobites versus the government. There's a lot of different ethnic, religious, and national groups tied up on both sides. 